I mean, and let's talk about that lip sync for Shaka Khan. That was when literally the black girl magic <laughs> exploded from the television <laughs> and went around the world because no queen could have done it better than you did, sweetie. <laughs> Uh, so I was actually shocked myself because I don't usually serve numbers like in a gown and, you know, more like emotion. Like I'm more like, ha, da, 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 and like all up in your face. And I was like, bitch, <laughs> did you just serve this with no tricks? And yeah, so I was thoroughly gagged too. And it was in front of Shot Cut. All of my best lip sync. See, all I needed was Katy Perry there for the last one, bitch. And I probably would have won that one too. That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, and as we know, poor Jan went home that night, but there was no way that your like channeling of Chaka Khan was gonna send you anywhere but safe. Hey, in that moment, I was like, any of you hoes can come up here and try it. I was like, I'm taking somebody out. I was like, nah, this, this, I love this song. I love me some Shaka. I knew that song before we got there. And I was like, yeah, I know every breath, bitch. Yeah. I know her heart, I know her resting heartbeat to this song, bitch. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you better be ready. And uh, what was it like having a little moment with Shaka Khan? I was speechless. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't deal. I just didn't know what to say. I was like, you're the the legend, you know who you are. Right. And you're sitting right here, like here. And I, yeah, I just, I just could, I just couldn't speak. I, I had my moment, but they didn't show a lot of it. But she was quiet most of the time. I was like, <laughs> and it was like, wait, I'll say something. I was like, I can't. I'm trying. Right. <laughs> yeah. So what was the, how, what, how did you feel that journey was? The beginning was strong, and then it seemed like maybe you got in your head a little bit. Like, what was going on with you behind the scenes? It just felt like the parts that I thought that I was doing great in, mm -hmm. it just seemed like I wasn't getting any, like, critiques or anything about it. Like, I would like to know if, like, what I'm doing wrong mm -hmm. and just being safe is cool for some bitches, but not for everybody. Right. And so I just wasn't getting any like feedback from anything. So I was like, I don't know if I'm doing all right. And so it just started going down because I was like, I was getting feedback and then I got a little feedback in the uh, the rusical and it wasn't, but I was like, how is a bitch doing? <laughs> yeah, because you go back to your hotel room all alone on ice Literally. for the whole weekend and all you have to do is like, nobody said anything. <laughs> I was like, what do I need to improve, bitch? What is, what is it? Right. What was the reason? <laughs> I can see how that's hard to I me mean, because I mean, even on the rusical like that, uh, music Madonna, honey. <laughs> you just slayed so many times on the show. I just wanted to show that, you know, she's a talented queen. And I just wanted other just entertainers of larger size to stop worrying about being a large bitch. Just go out there and just be a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I love wearing my body out, I love dancing, I love doing this, I love being unexpected. I like watching people just gag that, oh, this bitch that weighs 200 and I'm gonna cover my mic 80 pounds. <laughs> can do that. <laughs> oh my goodness. So what do you think was the, the toughest thing and what was the most fun thing about the experience? I think the toughest thing would be probably like Snatch Game and the, and probably the political challenge. The challenge is where you have to like, be funny, but you're not in front of a crowd. Right. And so no one's laughing, so you don't know if you're actually funny. Cause like you're on set and everybody's supposed to be quiet. So if I throw a joke, bitch, I'm like, <laughs> where are the chuckles? Yeah. Cause I host shows in Kansas City. So, you know, I got drunk girls laughing all the time. And so it's like, okay, bitch, I know that was funny, but not nobody broke a smile or nothing. And so and also, Snatch Game, like, I don't give a fuck what nobody says. Snatch Game is hard. Oh, it yeah. It is hard. Like, it's just, it's hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I commend the bitches that make it look easy, but it is hard. At least to me, it's hard. Right. <laughs> but I think those are the hardest parts. The funnest parts are just, I actually love walking down the runway. Mm. I feel so just, ah, ah, ah. Yes, bitch, she might be yeah. when I walk down the runway. <laughs> oh, I just feel all of the, just everything, just wash it over. Because I spent a lot of money on this one look that I'm going to wear probably twice. <laughs> right, that's the thing. Well, you slayed all those runways. Now, 
episode nine with the debate, that was a rough one for you. But that Stars and Stripes runway celebrated black activists with the Black Lives Matter runway. That was really beautiful. Yeah, I love that look. I wanted something different. When we got the list, it said Stars and Stripes. Mm -hmm. And something that is seems to be forgotten or not known in this country is that Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go on that show because a lot of black and brown queens get so much hate from the fandom. Yeah. And I'm like, remember, a black queen runs this show. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to be dressed like everybody else in red, white, and blue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a stand with everybody else that's fighting the good fight that black lives matter. And that, like I said, I may have got sent home, but God damn it, I wore my favorite look on the show. Yeah. I mean, and you slayed it. <laughs> now that lip sync against Jackie Cox, how were you feeling? They were like, you're like, firework by Katy Perry. Less, less with this. I was like, you couldn't have gave us anything else off the list. Right. <laughs> I had, like, it, I just knew before when they said it was political, I was like, oh God, it's going to be firework by Katy Perry. And that song's going to haunt me for the rest of my goddamn life now. Mm. But see, I flipped it, dipped it, and made it into uh, to profit. Now I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that for you. Run me some coins. I'll do that song for you. Mm-hmm. I'll relive that moment over and over again. Run me some coins. Yeah, we know exactly how it works for a drag race girl who does it correct. You take everything you did on the show, flip it so it's yep. positive, and then keep it going. The Alaska Thunderfuck method. Hello. But no, I do love that that will go down to history as like a big political moment because we both were showing that our race, our culture, our lives matter. Yeah. And... I hugged Jackie at the end, and I looked her square in the face. I was like, continue, bitch. Let them know why we're fucking important. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got all choked up. Uh, fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, look, just let them know that you're important. Let them know that we did this. And also, we made Jeff Goldblum cry, so. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Not everybody can say that, honey. I know. <laughs> so how did you feel when you got home? What were you feeling? Well, it was, <laughs> it was tough. Mm -hmm. It was tough to come back home and then like wait to rejoin right. civilization. And it was just, all right, you were there. Yeah. Now you gotta pretend like you weren't. Yep. <laughs> and it just, like I, I had a journal so I would read it all the time and just relive all the days I was there. So it was tough coming back at first. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but the only thing I would change is, you know, losing. <laughs> but <laughs> that, everything was great. <laughs> now, you're about to get ready for the season to come out. All your gigs are booked. Oh, I can't wait to go there. I can't wait to do this. Can't wait to do that. And suddenly the unthinkable happens. How did you handle dealing with it? Because by what? Episode three, everything was shut down. Let's put it this way. I went to Florida for New Year's. Mm -hmm. I came to LA for the second premiere. I was in Kansas City for the first because me and Monique, you know, we both were in Kansas City for our premieres. And she didn't win her first episode, but I did. So I was like, this is our redemption for our city. Right. And then I sat at home and found out that I have one strong ass liver. <laughs> I bet you did. I, I drank a lot. <laughs> I was like, girl, I can't go nowhere. I can't do nothing. This, what? Did I like die in the last two weeks? Am I like living in purgatory? What's happening? <laughs> right. Because all you can do is stay home and obsess over the show. And the bad part was I had to get cable. Oh my I God. Because I didn't have cable to watch <laughs> it. And I was like, this is like worse, bitch. Now I gotta pay to watch me on TV. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, Widow, we wanna play a little game to see what you think of some of your season 12 sisters. <laughs> it's time for Kiki, Kai Kai, Kill. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Widow. <laughs> We're gonna show you three queens. You have to decide which one you're gonna kiki with, have a sisterly good time, which one you're gonna kai kai with, have a not so sisterly good time, and which one you're just sick of and you're gonna <laughs> kill. Oh shit. <laughs> Here comes Reddit. All right. Uh, let us begin this game. Kiki, kai kai, kill. Ooh. All right, Heidi, Nikki. Aiden, oh. who gets what? <laughs> um, 
I would have to kiki with Heidi, because that's my good sis. Definitely would have to kai kai with Nikki, because I want to see that French baguette. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Aiden thought I hated her all the season, so I guess I'm going to kill the bitch now. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Did you? No. Oh, right. It just at first, you know, they was like, Who's the weak- who do you think's the weekend flee? Oh, right. And I was like, well, I don't know these bitches. And she just didn't sound confident when we first met her, so I picked her. Mm-hmm. And she held it against me most of the season until she went home, and I was like, Right, okay. All right, Kiki, Kai Kai, kill. Uh, We've got Jan, Jackie, uh, Crystal. (laughs) Oh, damn it. (laughs) This one's going to be hard. You've already killed Jan once, sweetie. (laughs) I was going to say, I was going to say, can I do it again? Can I really kill Jan again? You know what, just for the hell of it, just to to add more nails to the coffin, I'm about to kill Jan. Right, okay. I mean, I'm wearing the Kai Kai with Jackie. I mean, Mm. I believe Jackie's the trade of the season. Uh, I I would have to agree. Jackie? (laughs) I'm looking. I've been watching her little TikTok videos. I'm like, ooh. I know, he likes to swing, okay? I'm going to go (laughs) sell But, yeah. So you're going to Kai Kai with Jackie, and, uh, well, that's a Kiki with Crystal Method. It sounds Uh like a good time. I mean, we've been friends for five years now, so. Mm. You have five Uh years. We we knew each other as babies. Oh, well, we're going to be getting into that. (laughs) Unlookaha, okay. (laughs) And last but not least, Kiki, Kai Kai, kill. Oh! Dahlia, <laughs> Jada, and the, the missing queen, Michelle Visage. Can I just uh, kill the other two and just do all three with Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> what was it like, the, like, seeing these iconic judges that you've been watching for years talking to you uh. right in front of your face? So... I went to DragCon for Monique's year, and I didn't want to meet RuPaul yet because I wanted to make sure it was going to be official first time. Mm -hmm. So scary. Even though I got like, I'm like, I'm here, I'm in the room, you're talking to me, still scared, like tripling. Michelle, she told me when I first learned, she's like, I hope that one day to be judging you on this this season or on this show. And just to actually like have it come full circle, I'm like, oh my God, you actually know my name now. Like, you're talking to me. I'm not just a fan of drag, uh, drag guy. You're actually talking to me. It's just, it just feels like everything I've worked for for 14 years is finally, like, it's there. And yeah. it's, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's worthy of feeling emotional about. <laughs> it's finally nice to finally feel like, you know, bitch, you did it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you did most of it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, for an exclusive audio version of our show, stuff we filmed with Widow today that we couldn't fit in the main show, and years worth of podcasts with me, Adam, Erica, and our very own beautiful Lady Red, you're going to have to go to patreon.com slash TV. That's patreon.com slash TV, Right, Widow? Yes, bitch. <laughs> Yes, bitch, they might I'm, be going to patreon.com. I, I, was like, I was like, how can I spin that around to her and says, yes, bitch, go there. <laughs> um, uh, Widow, what is next for you, sweetie? What is in the vision board? We know the album V is out. The album Widow will be coming next. Well, the vision board is kind of just a, I don't know what kind of vision it is right now. Right. It, everything is... We're going to have to see, you know, how the elections go, go mm-hmm. when there's going to be a cure. Yeah. Who knows? A bitch might move to Canada and audition for season three. I <laughs> mean, it does seem appealing. Hello, Hello. out TV viewers. Hello. I might be coming to live with you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, Canada. Um, Widow, would you consider an all-stars return? Oh, I'm just waiting for them to give a bitch a call. Uh-huh. Oh, she got some unfinished business. I'm going to literally try to walk in in the same remake of my Stars and Stripes. Like, let's finish where we, st- where we let's start where we finished. Bitch. Yeah. Like, let's try it all over again. <laughs> just bring all of season 12 back. Make that season 7. <laughs> right. Well, I would like to see that. We know you have so much more to show. But, honey, what you did show, we loved. Yeah. <laughs> And Widow, you turned it so fiercely on Drag Race and in your whole drag career and today that you have snatched a trophy, sweetie! Yeah! Is this what it's like to be a winner? Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Is this what Jada felt like when she got hers? That's correct! 
<laughs> Thank you to my beautiful Erica Tor Aviance and my lovely Adam Joseph. Thank you to the beautiful and stunning widow Von Du. And thanks to all of you for watching. We'll see you next time on Hey Queen. Bye, baby.